I, I was really confused. They, they have Tom Key, Tom, Tom Key Creek coming in from the east, and then I have a map that shows it com coming in from the west. And oh, okay. Okay, well, we'll take it when it comes. Here. Uh, present. Uh, second. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So uh, the meeting will be adjourned as of now and be reopened at 2.20. Okay. And then... Uh, then we're okay, we're going to take a break now and continue at 220. Okay, so.
Archaeological Commission needs to take a break now due to audio problems, and we will resume at 2.20. You bet. So do, do I, uh, okay. Question is, do I leave? Or do I add that? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think you and I just hang out for now. Oh, thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You don't. Uh, you don't show your uh, your picture or your your video. It would be nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm work. My camera doesn't work yet. I'm fixing it. I should have another one next month. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad you're aboard. Anyway. Uh, do you know what the status is uh, of the old log cabin from Round Valley that we moved to the Willits Museum? And they had it in a... Oh, okay, sure. No, no problem. Yeah. Okay, 
Testing. Russ still watching on YouTube? I can go watch. <clears throat> Testing. Yes. Good. Okay. Eight minutes to go. I think I fixed it. Oh, you got it? Mm -hmm. Oh, what? We're good. All right. See, all we have to do is call <laughs> IT and we'll fix it. So. No, I fixed it. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Whenever something goes wrong and I pick up the phone to IT, it gets fixed. All right. Are we live yet? Or no, we're not live till 2.20. We've been live this so whole time. Much. Okay, so I'm just going to wait till 2.20 and then bring this back. Yes. What happened? How'd you do it? OBS wasn't connected to the app for audio. Oh, it wasn't? No idea how that possibly could have happened. Oh There's no reason that that setting should have been. Wow. Well, thank you. That one went out to the other um, commissioners that we were planning on rearranging the agenda. I'm moving items 4D and 4G on the agenda. I'm moving them to the top because they're the ones that were continued from last month. So we're going to go start at 4A? Uh, we're going to start at 4. We're going to do 3A. I'm going to start the meeting again. Uh, but then a, in review of survey, I'm going to do 4D first and then 4G and then I'll go to 4A and then continue per the agenda. Okay, okay. Is that, you know, that's... Uh... I'm very familiar with that area. In fact, my daughter, my youngest daughter, is buried at Monk Table. Uh, so I, I, I know the monks very well. In that area there, years and years ago, that Tomkai Road was the road that connected Willits and Red Valley. Oh. And it still does. It still does. Yeah, but who liked to drive it? Nobody. <laughs> But you can. <laughs> I know. During the dry season. You can bike it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna we're gonna need a survey for that. For the for uh, item three A? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading it too.
and here I should have gone to, to do my laundry. I was going to call you that can't make it. <laughs> he said, I can't do that tomorrow. Thank you. It's been a non-stop seven days for me. I'm worn out. Okay. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, Mark Kleiser here, Planning and Building Services, reconvening the September 14th, 2022 Archaeological Commission meeting. Um, I'm going to begin then at the beginning since we were not um, live on YouTube, at least our audio wasn't. So item one, I'm going to conduct a roll call. Planning and Building Services is here. Museum representative? Here. Archaeological representative? Uh, present. And Native American representative. Lockhart present. Thank you. Okay, that takes us to item 2A. I'm sorry, item 2. Uh, the Archaeological Commission Administration. The applications listed below will be reviewed by the Archaeological Commission. You are invited to view the meeting on YouTube and provide any pertinent information to these applications. If you have photographs of the site, you are encouraged to email them to the above email address by 2 p.m. on September 13th, 2022. And moving on to item 2A, this is a discussion and possible action including adoption of resolution of the Mendocino County Archaeological Commission, finding that state or local officials continue to recommend measures to promote social distancing in connection with public meetings. Um, I will make a motion to approve this resolution. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you. I'll take a roll call then. Planning and Building Services is a yes. Museum representative? Yes. Archaeological representative? Uh, yes. And Native American representative? Lockhart, no. Okay. Motion carries three, two, one. Now, moving on to item three, survey required. We have one item today. Case number is MS2022-0003. The owner is Roxanne Clement Rorick. The applicant agent is Munsell Civil Engineering. The request is for a minor subdivision of an existing 214 plus or minus acre parcel into two parcels and one remainder parcel. 
Parcel 1 would be approximately 56.7 acres. Parcel 2 would be approximately 40 acres. And the remainder parcel would be approximately 118.4 acres. The location is approximately 6.5 miles north of Redwood Valley on the east side of Tomkai Road, four and a half miles north of its intersection with East Road and West Road. It is located at 16250 and 17000 Tomkai Road and Redwood Valley. Parcel numbers are 107, 04021, 107-05604, and 105-29016. Um, do we have any attendance for this item? Or is the owner applicant? If you are here for this project and would like to participate, please use the raise hand feature. I'm seeing no one. No one? Okay. Okay, then I'd like to bring it back to the commissioners for discussion. Uh, let's see, I reviewed the report uh, earlier today. I mean, I rev reviewed uh, the application uh, earlier today. And uh, it's a very sensitive area uh, for Pomo habita habitation in in, uh, in the past. Um, it also is on both sides of the Russian River, and um, the environment is a classic uh, uh, food producing ecosystem of. Uh, a maintained uh, food producing ecosystem from uh, indigenous times. It's as the um, application notes, uh, Douglas fir, Madrone, Tan Oak and Black Oak trees uh, with Manzanita and Chemise, which is a pretty classic uh, uh, food producing ecosystem back in the day. So I would recommend a, a full um, survey of the entire uh, uh, project area. Okay, and thank the you. Archaeologists, the archaeologist can determine uh, what he feels is sensitive in terms of slope and um, there's some major ridges. Uh, there's um, the property runs along the Russian River. So I, I would think that we should survey the entire property. Thank you. Okay, Commissioner Lockhart, Commissioner Dick, any comments, or observations? Yeah, thank you, uh, Mark. I totally agree, Bill. Thank you so much for bringing that point up. The fact that it's a classic site for um, the people during those days, and it definitely needs a survey uh, because I'm hoping we're going to find rich findings that you know beyond our understanding so i have really I would expect so. okay thank you commissioner dick any comments observations no i agree with how much it, uh, resources are there we definitely need to have a full survey on that area mm -hmm. okay then all right it's also um, our I was going to say it's also it's also our only chance when we get these subdivisions. They're they're our only chance for a survey because building we don't get to see most of what happens in Mendocino County. Just uh, we get to see stuff from the coast uh, in terms of building permits and stuff. Okay. Okay then. Uh, can I get a motion? I make a motion that a full archaeology survey be done on this item. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Decker is com uh, making a motion to request a survey for MS 2022-0003. Can I get a second? Uh, second. Seconded by Commissioner Hull. Okay. Um, then roll call. 
Uh, museum representative? Yes. Archaeological representative? Yes. Native American representative? Lockhart, yes. And planning and building services is also a yes. Motion carries four to zero. A survey will be required for MS 2022-0003. Thank you. Okay, moving on now to item four, which is review of surveys. Uh, last month, we did have to continue two items to this meeting. As such, I'm going to move those to the front of this section, starting with item 4D and then moving to item 4G, and then we will pick up again at item 4A. So, uh, going to item 4D, uh, this is case number CDP-2021-0045, the owner is Casper Cattle Company, the applicant is Ariana Bayer and Josh McDonald, and the agent is Kelly Grimes. The request is a standard coastal development permit to restore four legal non-conforming residential structures, approximately 14 legal non-conforming accessory structures, construct a new 1,920 square foot tractor barn, and install a new driveway on the south side of Casper Frontage Road West for the new tractor barn. Pardon me. The location is in the coastal zone, approximately a quarter mile southeast of Casper Town Center, lying on the corner of State Route 1 and Casper Street, located at 45100 Casper Frontage Road West in Casper. Parcel number is 118-080-12. And do we have anyone in attendance for this item? No. If anyone is in attendance for this item, please yeah. raise your... Oh, there we go. Okay. Is Bayer? Yes, this is ah. me. Hi, welcome. Um, do you have any comments for the commission before we um, uh, hear from them? No comments. We submitted our the full report um, uh, previously last month, so I think I think you all have what you need to have. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, and I don't see anyone else here on this item. So with that, we will then turn to the commission for comments and observations. Uh, well, uh, also did an excellent, uh, an excellent report. Um, they also did, uh, quite a number of uh, slightly subsurface scrapes in order to see mineral soil, uh, which is excellent. Um, I was just looking for the number of them. I can't find it, but it was an excellent field survey. Um, their, their recommendations for the historic structures uh, is uh, right on. And I would uh, vote to approve the uh, the survey with the uh, uh, guidelines for the treatment of historic properties for the buildings. Basically, they're saying that they can proceed uh, as long as they follow the Secretary of Interior's guidelines for the treatment of these uh, historic buildings. Uh, they which acknowledges the need to add or alter to meet uh, continuing or new uses while retaining the building's historic character. So I think it's, uh, it's an ex excellent survey and report, and I would vote yes to, for approval. Okay, thank you. Commissioner Dick or Commissioner Lockhart, any comments, observations? I have no comments. Commissioner Dick? No, I agree. It's a very thorough report, so. Okay. All right, then. Uh, can I get a motion, then? Oh, I, 
I make a motion that CDP 2021-0045, that we accept the archeological survey report and historic evaluation with the recommendations to follow the, uh, the guidelines for the treatment of historic properties in, in terms of uh, the rehabilitation and maintenance of the historic buildings. Okay, and discovery clause as well, Commissioner Cole. Oh yes, that's yeah. We sh that's kind of we should do that for all for everything we do. Okay then. All right. So I have a motion from Commissioner Cole to accept the survey, uh, as long as guidelines for historic properties are followed and the discovery clause shall apply. Can I get a second? Second. Okay. I heard Commissioner Lockhart first. I will take a call, a uh, roll call then. Uh, PBS is a yes. Museum representative? Yes. Archaeological representative? Commissioner Cole? Oh, yes, affirmative. Okay. And Native American representative? Lockhart, yes. Okay, motion carries. Four to zero. Uh, the survey has been accepted. The applicant needs to follow the guidelines for historic property and discovery clause shall apply. All right. Thank you, Ms. Bayer. I would like to, I would like to add uh, about the about this report. Um, they did uh, regular 20 meter uh, uh, transects and they did a total of 50 shovel pits throughout the project area. And a shovel pit basically is where they clear ground cover and and maybe go into the soil five or ten centimeters just to make sure that there there's no uh, indication of an archaeological site and this this kind of uh, procedure is is excellent archaeological survey okay. they, they did 50 uh, we did some 50 shovel tests over this area. All right, thank you. Okay, moving on then to item 4G before we get back to the top of section four. Uh, item 4G case number is CDP 2022-0018. The owner is William Dickey Reed. The applicant is Ryan and Aaron McNabb. The request is a coastal development administrative permit to partially demolish and reconstruct a 1300 plus or minus square foot single family residence and install a power pole to allow electrical service from a utility company. The location is in the coastal zone approximately two and a half miles east of Albion on the south side of Albion Ridge Road. 1.3 plus or minus miles east of its intersection with State Route 1. It is addressed at 32601 Albion Ridge Road, parcel number 123-210-07. And is there anyone here to speak on this item? If so, please raise your hand. Tara Jackson. Hi there. Hello. My name is this is Aaron McNabb. I'm I'm just listed as the the applicant and uh yeah, I we did a full study for you guys as well. just like the other applicant. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any additional comments before we bring this to the commission for discussion? Uh yeah, not for well, the, oh. oh, okay. No. Okay. And we'll bring it to the commission for discussion. And Bill, you had something? Yeah, uh, this is nowhere near similar to the previous report. Um, the gr they only covered 10% of ground surface in this survey. And just offhand, I wouldn't accept it. Um, they talk about how thick the grass is. And they talk about how they, um, where was it? The, Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, um, as far as the ground service, a trowel was used occasionally to clear through to mineral soil. 
Now, in our previous survey, the guy did 50, 50 ground clearances to mineral soil. This guy didn't do anything and only covered 10%. So, I mean, we could write him a letter and tell him in the future, he's got to start doing a, a better observation of mineral soil, or we could just send it back to him and tell him to go back out there and tell us how he looked at something more than 10%. Okay. Commissioner Lockhart, Commissioner Dick, comments on the survey? I, uh, Commissioner Lockhart speaking. I totally agree with Bill. Okay. Thank you. And Commissioner Dick? Mm, no, not everything's been said. <laughs> okay. Um, Aaron, do you have any comments before we take a vote? Or before we ask, I ask for a motion, rather. Um, the only comments I would I would say is that it's previously disturbed ground. Um, it's just a, a you know essentially a remodel of a home that's already in existing. And as far as the power pole, that's just to redo the power pole that's already there in existing. Um, again, in disturbed previous you know previously disturbed soils. But I I, I understand. Um, if the other report was a little bit more thorough, but uh, yeah, I mean, I would love to be approved today. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, any more comments from the commission before I request a motion? Well, uh, let's see, which one is this? This is 0018. What are, what, what are they doing here? I forgot already. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and say that if it's already disturbed stuff, we should go ahead and let them approve their, uh, their report. Uh, but definitely with, uh, this, uh, John Parker, we, we need to tell him how the he needs to do more in depth reports than just trowling. Okay. Commissioner Call, Commissioner Lockhart, any comments before we make a motion? Well, what, 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 what's this uh, previous disturbance? What, what does that mean? So uh, there's already a resident here, and they're just going to be redoing the residence and a pole to get electricity to that residence. So they won't be going out, from what I gather, further into the parcel. So as long as they're sticking to the already disturbed place, as long as there's obviously the discovery clause, I don't see a problem with it. I think our main problem is we need to talk, get this uh, John Parker up to standards. Yeah, I would agree for sure. Commissioner Lockhart, any comments? Well, you know, there is a, you know, there is a native village within close proximity there. And um, that, that's what concerns me is we, you know, people assume because it happened, they did their survey two or three years ago, what have you, and there was nothing found. So they assume there's nothing there. Well, I know for a fact because of the historical, uh, our people, my people being um, um, verbal historical uh, knowledge passed down from generation to generation. And my father, Chief Bunkea, told me many, many stories. I'm full of stories, but nobody really wants to listen to it at, at ARC meetings. Point being is that we don't know what's there until we start digging into ground. That's why I appreciate uh, uh, Commissioner Cole's perspective on making sure that the double, uh, the shovel um, procedure is followed in a specific manner. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, hi, Erin, you have further comments? Oh, my hand was just up from uh, previously, but yeah, uh, uh, to clarify there, the resident already does have power. It, we were just gonna put in basically a safer pole for the utility company. So that's what that is. And yeah, the district, the, the re, it's just a remodel of a, 
of a, a home that's already there. Okay, thank you. So they're not they're not doing a um, septic tank and stuff. No, it already has a septic tank there and a well. Okay. Well, or I mean, are we prepared? Is the uh, county prepared to write a letter to Mr. Parker on this, or? Uh, yes, um, I can bring it up for matters uh, from staff next time. If you'd like, I can present a letter and then we can send it off. So this is one of those cases where we we didn't survey the whole, um, we didn't survey the property, but we only surveyed the area of expected ground disturbance. Is that right? Um, Aaron, can you speak to that? Since we don't have the um, person who wrote the survey here, I'm not too familiar with what was surveyed. Uh, he did a full survey. So it was the property. He took a lot, bunch of pictures of it. And then um, he did do the, the mineral uh, testing, although it wasn't 50 shovels or however the commissioner uh, worded that. Um, but yeah, he did do a full survey. We have also um, done a full biological and botanical survey of the property as well. Okay. Okay. I, uh, I, I personally, I would send it back to Parker and tell him what about the other 90%? So, okay, well, why don't we take, um, uh, get a motion then. Can I get a motion on this one? Sure, I make a motion at CDP 2022-0018 that we return the survey to Parker and ask him to see if he can see uh, any mineral soil in the other 90% of the property. Okay, so for clarification, then you're saying to not accept the survey and have them resubmit it with the uh, remaining 90% of the property in the new survey. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so I, have a... I maybe let's see. I guess according to this, he surveyed the entire property, but then he says he only surveyed ten percent of it, or he could only see mineral soil in ten percent. So I mean, it just to me, it's just sloppy archaeology. I I don't know what to say. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Lockhart, Commissioner Dick, um, would you like to make a motion? Since I fully agree with Bill, and uh, you know, again, and I know there's I need to pause and keep myself under control here. Um, number one. There, uh, there's a procedure to follow that, and those who are archaeologists and who have years of experience need to recognize that and follow that. And Bill is very well established in this county and understands the job that needs to be done to protect potential sites. And so I fully agree with Bill's concern. That, that's my comment on the entire perspective of okay. the project. Right then. Am I? Um, if I may, then I'd like to make a motion to uh, to not accept the survey and have it come back following the guidelines uh, that have been written out by the Archaeological Commission on how to conduct surveys. All right. I agree with that. Okay. Do I have a second? Good wording. Lockhart second. Seconded by Lockhart. Okay. Uh, so the motion then is to not accept the survey and have it returned so that it's following the guidelines written out by the Archaeological Commission. Seconded by Lockhart. Roll call. PBS is a yes. Commissioner Cole? Yes. Commissioner Dick? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. 
And Commissioner Lockhart. Lockhart, yes. Okay. Motion carries four to zero. All right. Thank you, Aaron. Okay. And this puts us back Thank on. Thank you guys schedule. very much. This puts us back Can on I ask one more oh. question, though, while you guys are still here? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I just well thank you very uh, while I'm disappointed I, I totally appreciate your guys's expertise on this subject but am I able to reach out to him um, prior to you guys reaching out to him just to say hey we need this uh, yes and okay we'll have the planner uh, send you the guidelines that have been written out and approved by the archaeological commission for surveys so that might help clarify um, the uh, updated survey the revised one Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for your guys' time. Thank you, Aaron. I, I have a quick question about that too. Uh, we were we kept asking Bandy to update uh, our recommendations for survey, and I don't know if he ever did. Um, okay, I will put that on matters from staff as well um, for next month. Okay, is there is there? Uh, is there any way that you could send us, <clears throat> email us those recommendations? Yes. Um, so that uh, we could see what they say, because at this point I'm not sure, and I don't, I don't have a copy. So. Yes, I will do that today. Oh, thank you so much, Mark. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Getting back to, on schedule to item four A. Uh, this is case number uh, MS2021-0006, owners are Robert and Cindy Leneve, the agent is Ron Franz, the request is a minor subdivision of a 4.3 plus or minus acre parcel into two parcels. Parcel 1 would be approximately 3 acres, while parcel 2 would be approximately 1.25 acres. The location is approximately 1.6 miles northwest of Calpella Town Center, lying east of Uva Drive, 1,034 feet approximately northwest of its intersection with Finn Road, located at 7825 Uva Drive in Redwood Valley. Parcel number is 1650420. And if anyone is here to speak on this item, please raise your hand. Okay, seeing no one. All right, seeing no one, then we will bring it to the commission for discussion. So <clears throat> on this one, we have uh, 22 spread out uh, mineral soil observations, which is excellent. Um, they felt like they did a, a good uh, ground surface visibility of about 65%. Um, They did 10 meter, 10 meter intervals and uh, 22 shovel pits, uh, which is excellent coverage. So, I mean, I, I accept the survey as it is it, with its recommendations, which I think is the discovery clause. Thank you. Thank you. I agree. Commissioner Lockhart, thank you. Commissioner Dick, any thoughts? No, I agree. Okay. Right then, um, can I get a motion on this item? Well, I'll go ahead. I'll make a motion. Oh, go ahead. To, I'm sorry. Uh, accept the report uh, MS 2021 uh, with the discovery clause. Okay. Motion made by Commissioner Dick to accept the survey with the discovery clause. Do I have a second? Second. Oh, I heard Commissioner Lockhart first, seconded by Lockhart. Okay. Roll call then. Uh, Planning and Building Services is a yes. Uh, Commissioner Cole? 
Yes. Commissioner Lockhart? Yes. And Commissioner Dick? Yes. Okay. Motion carries four to zero. Survey is accepted with the discovery clause. All right. Thank you. Moving on to item 4B. <coughs> Excuse me. Case number CBP 2021-0021. The owner is Rochelle Reagan. The applicant agents are Camilla and Tom Gilson. The request is an administrative coastal development permit to extend a 54-inch livestock fence around the perimeter of the property, install three test wells, and installation of ground mount solar. The proposed land use is Protea cultivation. The project is located in the coastal zone, approximately 2.2 miles northeast of Point Arena Town Center on the west side of Highway 1, approximately 0.9 miles west of its intersection with Lighthouse Road. It is addressed at 23016 South Highway 1 in Point Arena. Parcel number is 027-011-22. And I believe we have the applicant here to speak on this item. Hi, Tom. Yes, hi. Hi, hi, welcome. Um, um, do you have any comments you. for the commissioner before they begin discussion? Uh, no, just uh, from the last meeting, we got the survey results and uh, Looking forward to your evaluation. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, that brings it back to the commissioners for discussion. Any thoughts, observations on this project? So, um, in the recommendations, uh, they're recommending uh, that if you're just if you're just pounding in fence posts, uh, they were not recommending a monitor if. You are uh, auguring uh, post holes. They're recommending a archaeological monitor. Uh, it's a very sensitive area, a very sensitive area, and there are a rather large number of sites immediately adjacent to this property. So I was just curious, what's the fence plan? Tom? Sorry, I was on mute. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. yeah I mean, we, we were looking for just a range fence to keep the cattle off the property. So something pretty basic. We weren't looking to dig deep and argue, just tap in some basic, uh, simple fence posts. And any recommendation you have on the how simple it can be, that's fine. We're pretty flexible. So what? So you're talking about this uh, iron, uh, those try try facial iron things with the uh the blade near the bottom is that what you're talking about yes something like that is fine so you don't already have a plan for what kind of posts you were planning on using uh we we had a uh estimate come out uh several months ago but uh we were delayed with this process so but we were we were not going to do big redwood uh, posts, just something very simple. Okay. Well, I I I, uh, I approve the survey uh, with the recommendations. Okay. Uh, further discussion, Commissioner Lockhart, Commissioner Call. No. What, what what is a protea cultivation? A protea is a plant, a flower. 
And what, what kind of cultivation does that require? Are you going to be disking? No. no. Right now we're not doing No, anything. right now we're not doing anything, but right, uh, no, it's just hand planting. There's small flowers. No, no tractor disking. Oh. Are the flowers for sale or? It takes, like uh, it takes several years to develop, so maybe several years from now, but not in the short term. Mm -hmm. It's agriculturally zoned land, so just a, a simple flower. Right. Commissioner Dick, any comments? Commissioner Lockhart, comments? I mean, I understand that the area is heavily used, so I'm open to approving it, but definitely have discovery clause and all that to cover every base. Okay. Commissioner Lockhart, final thoughts? I, yeah, I, I'd like to respond by reading this statement, page six. The Manchester Rancheria located further upstream from the old village site was also called, and I can't pronounce the word, can't speak my language, was inhabited when Barrett reported it in 1908. There were 15 houses and about 60 people living there at the time who were from the old village of Wallala River, as well as the old village on Brush, Brush Street about two miles northeast of the, that old village. It was reported that the pre-contact population was about 200 people. That was in 1943. Well, again, I must say that this is a highly sensitive area and you might do a shovel test here and find nothing and three feet away or five feet away or 10 feet away, there might be something. So I would, have to, from a, the flow of administrative procedure and policy, agree with accepting the survey with a firm, firm sensitivity to the discovery clause okay. aspect. All right, thank you. Uh, how, how big of an area is the uh, uh, what's the process for the, uh, what was it, a solar array or something? Um, uh, that's just for the, that's for the well pump. Oh, right. Okay. Um, okay, so they did, they did uh, five, five meter intervals, which is a very tight survey. Uh, doesn't really talk about uh, what they did for observing mineral soil. That's what I, I couldn't really figure that out. Uh, they did a pedestrian, okay, results of surface examination. They did a pedestrian survey, five meter transects, which is excellent. Uh, I'm getting the idea that part of this was previously surveyed by Newland. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Page 15. Yeah. Yeah. Could have been by the previous owner or historically. So at least we know that there, there are no shell middens on the property. It, where he says um, the results of surface examination uh, does not explain the complete lack of shell or flake material in the property, which is good news. Uh, 
So we know that there's not a midden site there. Uh, so um, I, I'm okay with approving it with a recommendation. Okay. Well, then if I may, I'm gonna make a motion then to accept the survey with strict adherence to the discovery clause for CDP 2021-0021. Do I have a second? I second it. Okay, seconded by Commissioner Dick. Uh, roll call vote then. Commissioner Cole? Uh, affirmative. Commissioner Lockhart? I vote no. No? PBS is a yes, and Commissioner Dick? Yes. Okay, motion carries. Three, two, one. Survey is accepted with, again, strict adherence to the discovery clause. All right. Thank you, Tom. I, I, Thank I you. Would like to, I would like to make a comment about, okay, so here's a case that we approved. And we have a survey that was five meter transects, uh, a statement that there are no no uh, shell mound remains, but we have there's no mention of uh, ground clearance to mineral soil, um, and it, it would it, it would be good if we were consistent with all the different surveys. If we accept one because they did 22 ground surface clearances to observe mineral soil and then we get another survey and they they did excellent transects and they state that there were no midden deposits but then we know nothing about any kind of ground clearance that they did to observe mineral soil so in a way it's kind of the, our standard is like you know, one person said they surveyed, you know, they did transects and they surveyed 10% of the property and they didn't do any mineral soil except for rodent mounds or something. And now I have another survey who did 22 uh, ground, uh, ground, 22 ground clearances to mineral soil. And then we have this one, which we approved where we have no indication if they did that or not. So, I, I'm just concerned that we need to kind of start leveling out and what we expect for these surveys. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so if, if you send us that, uh, if you send us our our, uh, our expectations for surveys and we can have a look at it and we can see if we all yeah. agree to, to, to it, uh, then we could, require that for, for all of our surveys. Okay, again, I will email that recommendation out. We can bring it up again uh, next month for discussion and how to move forward with clarifying. I completely what... agree. Okay. And, and I'm speaking from a perspective that I am, every fiber of my body has stories and memories of riding around Mendocino County with my dad and fishing, getting seaweed and surfish at character. I don't know character, but I know Cleone, I know Puddin Cliff, I know Manchester Point Arena, all these areas that my father was, were, they were the, in the leadership of that past generation, they were very close and shared stories, but they didn't share it with the outside community because they knew it was fruitless. Mm -hmm. So this, and I totally agree with Bill's perspective on that, and that, and and I have to say that I, I've noticed that early on, but I thought, well, I'm just a novice here. Well, this is, I think, a good opportunity then to address those with these yes. this recommendation. So, yes. I'll, again, I'll email those out. We'll pick that up next month. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, yeah. if, if you could do that, uh, like, you know, I don't know, a week or two before the next meeting, so we'd have a chance to look at that. I'll do it this evening before I leave. Okay. Oh, cool. Awesome. Right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Tom. Uh, moving okay. on. Okay. Thank you very. Thank you very much. To item four C.
Uh, this is item number CDP 2021-0039. The owner is SNL Farms West LLC. The applicant is Linda Fortier. The agent is Wayfinder LLC. The request is an administrative coastal development permit for after the fact remediation violations in NOV 2019-0050, including remediation for vegetation removal, <coughs> grading, drainage, the demolition of three greenhouses, unpermitted electrical panel, unpermitted plumbing. Included within the request is removal of an RV, travel trailer, and shipping container, trash removal, as well as removal of an unpermitted manufactured home and its associated septic system. The location is in the coastal zone, approximately 2.7 miles northeast of the town of Anchor Bay, on the south side of Timberwood Way, approximately a half mile west of its intersection with Iverson Road. It is addressed at 35555 Timberwood Way in Gualala. The parcel number is 1411035. And do we have anyone here to speak on this item? No? Okay, it doesn't appear we have anyone here to speak on the item, so we will bring it back to the commission for discussion of item 4C. So can I just get a clarification because this I've only been here for a few months. This part of this is they went ahead and removed vegetation and grading and didn't get a permit for it. So this permit or report is to kind of cover that part and then also remove this RV trailer and stuff. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. And they are also, they're remediating um, the vegetation and grading that they did too, that was not permitted. So uh, this is done by an archaeologist who has a very good reputation, uh, and um, they did uh, shovel tests for uh, observing mineral soils every five meters in their transects. So I'm happy with this survey, and I would recommend approval. Um, okay. Thank you. Commissioner Lockhart, Commissioner Dick, any comments? I agree with Bill. Okay. Commissioner Dick? I agree. Okay. Well, then with that, I will make a motion then to accept the survey for CDP 2021-0039 with the discovery clause. Do I have a second? Lockhart, second. Second. Oh, okay. okay, I heard Commissioner Lockhart first. Okay, roll call. Uh, Commissioner Cull? Uh, affirmative. Commissioner Dick? Yes. Planning and Building Services is a yes, and Commissioner Lockhart? Yes. Okay. Uh, survey is accepted 4 to 0 for CDP 2021-0039 with the discovery clause. All right, thank you. Um, we've done item 4D, so we'll move on to item 4E, which is case number CDP 2021-0046. The owner applicant is Clay Brennan. The agent is Wynn Coastal Planning and Biology. The request is a standard coastal development permit to construct a single family residence, guest cottage, music studio, garage workshop, utility structure, water tower, and convert the existing single-family residence into an accessory dwelling unit. 
Within the request is the connection to existing septic, including new septic tank, installation of replacement septic field, water tanks, and the connection to utilities and driveway with retaining wall. Also, this is a follow-up to emergency permit number EM20210003 to drill three test wells and convert one test well to a production well, depending on the location approved by the Coastal Commission. Uh, that is a permit number 1-90-113-A2. The location is in the coastal zone, approximately eight miles north of the city of Fort Bragg, Fort Bragg and a quarter mile south of Ocean Meadows subdivision on the west side of State Route 1, immediately across and west of Camp 2 10 Mile Road. It is addressed at 29020 North Highway 1 in Fort Bragg, and the parcel number is 015-35050. Do we have anyone here to speak on this item? Please raise your hand if you're here to speak on CDP 2146. Thank you. Uh, hi, Tara. Hi, Mark. Yes, this is Tara Jackson. I am agent for the applicant. Um, I want to thank the commissioners for your time and attention um, in reviewing the archaeological survey. And I am available for any questions should you have them. Okay, thank you. Uh, that brings us back to the commission for discussion. So again, we have a we have a good uh, good coverage with uh, ten meter intervals and fifteen uh, ground clearances to mineral soil. Um, And I, I, uh, I'm okay with this survey. Okay. Commissioner Lockhart, Commissioner Dick, any comments, observations before we make a motion? I don't have any comments. Well, I know for a fact, uh, Commissioner Lockhart speaking, I know for a fact that uh, any place in any place between um, Fort Bragg and um, the character uh, Hooden Creek, all through that coastline, there's heavy uh, First Nations people activity, uh, camping, gathering, you know, seasonal. So it uh, should be handled with caution. Okay. Thank you. Then um, is anyone ready to make a motion? I move that we accept this report with the discovery clause. Okay. Do I, I, I agree with Bill. We should just make that a constant for all reports. Okay. We'll bring that up next month too. Do I have a second? Uh, the motion was made by Commissioner Dick to accept the project with the discovery clause. Do we have a second? A uh, second. Seconded by Commissioner Cole. Okay, roll call then. Planning and Building Services is a yes. Commissioner Lockhart? Yes. Commissioner Cole? Uh, yes. And Commissioner Dick? Yes. All right, motion carries four to zero. Survey is accepted with the inclusion of the discovery clause for CDP 2021. 0046. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. Okay. And that brings us down to two items. Next one is case number CDP 2022-0009. The owner is the state of California. The applicant is Brian Dewey, the assistant deputy director, and agent is Joel Vanilla, environmental coordinator. The request is to construct upgrades to the drinking water treatment system at McCarricker State Park, rehabilitate the existing water intake in Mill Creek, upstream of Lake Cleone, install a new raw water supply line and electrical conduit from Mill Creek to the water treatment plant, replace the existing water treatment plant, replace existing water storage tanks, 
and reconfigure the existing Lake Cleon pump station with operational safety improvements. The project is located in the coastal zone in Cleon on the south side of Mill Creek Drive, approximately 0.2 miles west of its intersection with State Route 1. It is located at 33200 Mill Creek Drive and 20565 McCarricker Road in Cleon. Parcel numbers are 0691304, 0691610101, and 0693013. Do we have anyone here who wishes to speak on this? Okay. Uh, looks like Joel Vanilla and Chris Kinsey, is it? Yes, that's correct. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right. Um, yes. And uh, I, before we get into the project, I did want to bring up one item. Uh, there, there is a minor change to the project, which I went ahead and I submitted a schematic for the commission's consideration. Uh, the change to this project is the expansion of the water treatment plant by approximately 15 feet to accommodate uh, a new water treatment device and the water treatment uh, building is within the park maintenance yard. And so that expansion would occur in an area that was already originally proposed for construction and uh, is also covered by the original specialist studies. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, then we'll bring it back to the commission for discussion. Any questions of Mr. Kimsey? Observations on the project? Um, no, I'm, uh, I'm a district archaeologist here at Snow Mendocino Coast. Um, and so this project is run out of the Northern Service Center of State Parks in Sacramento, um, where I used to work. And um, the archaeological studies were conducted by Dion Gruber, senior state archaeologist there at uh, the Northern Service Center since retired. Um, and so, yeah, just providing that some of that background. Okay. And that was Mr. Kimsey who was just speaking, correct? That was me. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Apologies from Mr. Vanilla. Okay, thank you. Okay, then bringing it back to the commission for discussion then. Looks like Steve wants to talk. Oh. Uh, we have planner Steve Klein in here. Steve. Well, Good afternoon. Department on the project planner for this project. I just wanted to say that we did receive a letter from the Shoreward Valley Rancheria saying that the, the proposed project is an area of concern for the tribe. The Sherwood Valley Band of Homo Indians would like to go on record that the tribe is interested in working with the county planning department, the archaeological committee, and the clients as the project moves forward. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I can um, also address that some. Um, I've been having conversations with Valerie Stanley, the Tribal Historic Preservation Officer from Sherwood Valley. Um, we're going to be doing a project walk through um, the week of October 6th. Um, and uh, yeah, so we kind of, you know, these, these projects that we have, um, they kind of go through a long design process, I guess you could say. And so Dion had conducted some initial consultation in starting in 2016. <laughs> and, you know, here we are still designing the project. So we're sort of circling back around um, with the Sherwood uh, Valley Band. And, um, you know, we're going to be continuing to consult with them and, and any concerns that they raise with um, monitoring, project design, um, you know, we'll incorporate that into the project. Okay, thank you. Um, and I just wanted to ask, and I noticed that there are other people, um, other participants who might want to speak. If there's anyone else there who wants to say something about this project, please raise your hand. Okay. All right, I don't see anything. Okay, then bring that back to the commission for discussion. I, I think it's, uh, I, I really appreciate the uh, uh, reaching out to the 
<clears throat> local uh, tribal group and including them in uh, a walkthrough, which is uh, something that is long overdue. So I'm glad to see that happening. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Lockhart, Commissioner Dick, any comments? Yes, as I stated earlier, uh, the coastal area from figuratively speaking in simple terms from Fort Bragg actually clear to the to the you might say the boundary line moving into Humboldt County. It's really rich, rich um, First Nations people, uh, campsites, uh, seasonal gathering and uh, just our way of life during those days. And very mobile people back and forth, back and forth. And so you never know what you're going to find. We don't know. And what kind of, what breaks my heart is I know there's stuff out there that has been missed mm -hmm. because I have per had personal experiences, spiritual experiences, I might add, just walking the beach in certain areas. <laughs> so okay. I'd like to have that recorded, please. Thank you. Commissioner Dick, any comments? Um, no, I I would, would agree with the report, but obviously the discovery clause and keeping all members of every tribe in the loop. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. Um, is anyone ready to make a motion? I'd make, make a motion. motion. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I'll make a motion to accept the report as long as continued involvement with all the tribes and the discovery clause are in effect. Okay. We have a motion for Commissioner Dick to accept the survey um, with the discovery clause and continue contact with the tribes that are involved. Do I have a second? Lockhart second. Second. Oh, seconded by Lockhart first. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. All right. All right, take a roll call then. Um, PBS is a yes. Commissioner Cole? Yes. Commissioner Dick? Yes. And Commissioner Lockhart? Yes. Okay. Uh, motion, I mean, uh, motion passes four to zero. Surveys accepted for CDP 2022-0009 with the discovery clause and continued involvement with the tribes who have been spoken to about the project. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Kimsey, Mr. Benilla. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. And that brings us to our final project, which is... Oh, that was our final project. We did 4G already. Was it? Yes, it was. Yeah. Um, so that brings us then to uh, item number five, which is matters from staff. And um, there are none. I will reiterate that I will email those recommendations to you so that we might consider them and we'll bring it back up at the next hearing um, if we need to rewrite them and address them again. And then... This brings us to item six, which is matters from the commission. Are there any? Not at this moment. Um, no? Commissioner Call, Commissioner Dick? No, other than stated. Okay. And then do we have any matters from the public? Nope. No, no. no matters from the public? Unless we, if anybody is here that oh, would yeah. like to speak, please use the raise hand feature. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right, then. Thank you. So that brings us to our last item, which is adjournment. And uh, I will just say all those in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Motion carries four to zero. Uh, planning, uh, planning commission. Um, Archaeological commission for September 14th, adjourning at 326. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And thank you for being patient, but thank you for fixing it. <laughs> oh, I know. I went off the record. <laughs>